Today, we are tackling a common headache for PC users. How to do a clean install of Windows 11 when you don't have a USB flash drive handy. Whether you lost it, broke it, or just want to skip the extra steps of making a bootable USB, this method has got you covered. A clean install involves erasing and formatting the C drive, allowing a fresh installation of Windows operating system. So ensure you back up your important files from the C drive before the clean install. First of all, open your web browser and search for Windows 11 ISO file. Head over to the official Microsoft website and download the file. This is a large file, so ensure you have a stable internet connection. After downloading, we are gonna create a separate partition to store the Windows 11 installation files. Right click on your C drive. Select shrink volume. You can allocate 8GB of space to the new partition. 8GB is a safe bet for the Windows 11 installation files. Right click on the unallocated space. Select new simple volume. Just keep clicking next. You can name the volume something like Windows 11 installer. Check the box for quick format. Click finish. The new partition should appear in the file explorer. Now. Find the Windows 11 ISO file you downloaded earlier. Right click the ISO and choose mount. This will automatically mount it as a virtual DVD drive in your system. Copy all the files and folders within the drive. Then go to the partition you created earlier. Paste all copied files here. Now, you are ready to move on to the next steps of your clean Windows 11 installation. Next, restart your computer into a recovery mode. After your computer restarts, you will see the advanced startup option screen. Click on the troubleshoot tile. Click on advanced options, then select command prompt. This will open the command prompt window. Using command prompt, you will launch the Windows 11 setup file directly from the Windows installer partition that we created. But before that, we have to confirm the correct drive letter of the partition. In the command prompt, type disk part and press enter. The disk part utility is used for managing disks and partitions. Type list volume. This will list all the partitions on your computer along with their corresponding labels and drive letters. Just locate the partition where you copied the Windows 11 installation files and note down its assigned drive letter. In my case, it is E. Exit the disk part utility. Now I just need to run the Windows 11 setup.exe file from the E drive. Press enter and this will start the Windows setup program. Click on the Install Now button and begin the Windows 11 installation process. Choose the Install Windows Only option. In the Drive Selection screen, you will see a list of computer's partitions. First, format and delete all the system partitions of the previous operating system. Do not accidentally delete the Windows installer partition containing the ISO files. Now, just select the disk where your previous operating system was installed and click Next. Now Windows will install itself, configure settings and install drivers. This process might take some time and involve several restarts. You will be asked to choose your region, language, keyboard layout, connect to Wi-Fi, create a user account and so on. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the Windows 11 setup process.
Now, the new Windows 11 is up and running. Guys, you can keep this Windows 11 installer partition as it can be useful for future installations or troubleshooting. But if you want to delete this partition, please follow the steps. Open Partition Manager. Format the Windows installer partition. Then delete the volume. Now if I try to extend the C drive, you can see the extend volume option is greyed out. This is because the recovery partition is in between the C drive and the unallocated space. So what you are going to do is, first delete the recovery partition then extend the C drive and then create the recovery partition again so that we don't run into any boot issues. To do so, open the command prompt and follow the steps. Thank you. 